dear friends. Welcome to my Stampin' Peace studio. I'm so happy to be with you today on Tuesday, May 21st. Um, I'm pulling out sheets of DSP that I want to show you during the demonstration, excuse me, demonstration, so bear with me. Um, but while I'm finishing up that, um, I want to tell you about a couple of things before we go into today's, to today's projects. Um, I will be making three cards with you, and um, I think you will find them quick and easy and fun to make. And I'll be featuring the Poised Peony stamp set, as well as the Lily Pond Lane Designer Series paper. But before we get to that, May 21st only, free shipping from Stampin' Up on orders of $75 or more, okay? Anything Stampin' Up um, except Paper Pumpkin subscriptions. Uh, anything else, clearance rack, online exclusives, um, kits, embellishments, papers, cardstock, ink, whatever, um, you can get free shipping on your order of $75 or more. And that is today only, May 21st through Midnight Mountain Time. Uh, you can order in my online store, Mary Nave at Stampin' Up, or MaryNave.StampinUp.net, or you can contact me um, and I will do my best to help you and or place the order for you. Um, please note that Midnight Mountain Time is 2 a.m. Eastern Time where I live. I won't be staying up till 2 a.m. Eastern Time. In fact, I probably won't make it till, um, oh, probably, I don't know. I usually go to bed around 10 Eastern Time, but uh, you can email me or call me up until that time and I'll be happy to help you with your order. In addition to that, so often, People ask me where do I get my um, card store or my cardstock storage? Um, what else do I have? I have punch storage. People ask me all the time where do I get my paper holders, etc. They are from a company called Stamp in Storage. S T A M P N S T O R A G E. Today through the twenty seventh, they are giving. 15% off all of their products, okay? Um, today, May 21st through May 27th, uh, which I believe is Monday, they are doing their big Memorial Day sale here in the U.S. and um, giving 15% off all orders. Uh, what else is happening uh, today, May 21st? Oh, tonight is my um, craft and chat night, my free craft and chat night. We just get together on Zoom for an hour and a half, 7 p.m. Eastern time until 8.30 p.m. Eastern time. And we all just bring our own projects, um, something to do and keep us busy while we chat. Um, Kathy Kelly is saying the audio is in and out. I'm not seeing that anybody else is having a problem with that. Um, it looks like my internet connection is fine as well. So I'm sorry that's happening, Kathy, but I, I don't know um, what the solution is for you. Um, so anyways, that is happening tonight. And finally, in terms of promotions, don't forget about um, the Stampin' Up's starter kit promotion this month, because it is awesome. It is awesome. Yes, my awesome. mic is on. Everything's on and turned up, Kathy. Perhaps your volume's not all the way up. I'm not sure. Um, the starter kit promotion. Imagine this. You get $207 worth of Stampin' Up! product and you pay just $99 plus sales tax and it will all ship free through the end of May. Um, in that, with that being said, 
Of that $207 of product, you get to choose $125 of product. On top of that, Stampin' Up! is going to get, give um, you free $82 worth of in-color products. That includes the five new ink pads, the set of five Stampin' Write markers, um, an assorted pack of the cardstock, and oh, what am I missing? Um, oh, what am I missing? And I'm like looking for my flyer here. Oh, the DSP, the package of the in color DSP. So that's a whole lot in a short amount of time. All of that information on today's promotions, as well as the those that go into next week and the end of the month are on my blog, stampinpeace.com, and um, you'll have all the information you need there, but if you still have questions, feel free to contact me. All right, it's time for me to flip my camera around now so that we can get started making some quick and easy cards that you are going to love. While I'm doing that, would you please share your live, your, <laughs> this live video with your crafty friends or other groups you belong to. Uh, you can even tag your friends and family members right in the comments, bringing them to this Facebook Live. Kathy, thanks so much for sharing. When people share, um, my Facebook Lives, or my blog, my social media sites, anything at all, when people do that, I consider that to be the greatest compliment. And I, there just aren't enough words to thank you for all that. I need to make another switch. There we go. Okay. So these are the products I'm going to be using um, for today's demonstration. The first is the Poised Peony stamp set. It is found in the new annual catalog, okay? Then I'm using um, some of the Lily Pond Lane Designer Series paper. This is a stack of six by six paper that I got as a gift when I was on the Stampin' Up! Incentive trip in Mexico. I don't have the um, bundle that coordinates with it, nor do I have the embellishments that are part of this suite, but the paper is just bright and cheerful and fun. So I was thinking, how could I use this today? So I'm going to be using some sheets of this for the stack slice and shuffle technique, a version of that. But before then, I wanted to show you how pretty and fun this designer series paper is. This is probably one of my favorites. I'm a sucker for ginghams. We have had some um, ducklings and goslings born in my neighborhood fairly recently, and I live the across the street from um, one of the ponds in our neighborhood. So have seen those recently. Look at this cute frog sitting on the lily pad. Colors included in this designer series paper are peach pie, pretty and pink. Um, the greens are granny apple green and pretty, pretty peacock. And then this grayish color is gray granite. And it is one of my favorite. I know not a lot of you have it or may not use it a whole lot, but gray granite is one of my favorite neutrals. Okay, so there you see a sampling of all that DSP, the patterns and prints and colors in the Lily Pond Lane designer series paper pack. These are the three 
um, pieces of DSP I have chosen. I'm making a rather monochromatic card or cards today. And what I'm going to do is show you a version of the Stack Slice and Shuffle. We have done several versions of this in the past, but it is so easy, so fun, and it's one that people always love that I feel like if it pops into my head, if I have the right DSPs to do it, I'm going to do it and I'm going to show you again. And each time I might just um, do a slight variation. So this is what I'm using. And most often it seems I do my stack, slice, and shuffle cards in the horizontal or landscape position. Today I'm going to do them in the vertical or the portrait position. So, and that is the only reason that's important before the cutting is if you have any um, pattern that is directional. So as you can see, these first two, it doesn't matter which direction they go. This, the direction is important. So because I know I want to make vertical cards, I'm going to make sure that this particular piece of DSP is in the vertical position, top, bottom, right? When I'm cutting. So I am going to, and I've got the Stampin' Up! paper trimmer. It will cut three pieces of DSP just fine. Some of you might be thinking, oh, stop, Mary, can you really cut all three pieces of DSP at once? I cannot speak for all cutters, but I can speak for the Stampin' Up! paper trimmer, and yes, I can. Okay, so I've got all three. Make sure the edges are all good and lined up, and I'm going to cut at three and three-quarter inches. Okay, three and three-quarter inches. I'm going to turn that stack to the opposite direction and cut at five inches. Again, make sure your stack, it, the edges are all lined up, okay? So now I have a stack of three, all measuring three and three quarters by five inches, okay? And now I'm going to do some other cutting. I'm going to start by cutting, and remember, if you're doing stack, slice, and shuffle, um, these measurements are a guide. You are always free to change them, to alter them a bit as you like. That's, that's the beauty of the stack, slice, and shuffle. So I'm going to cut in half at two and a half inches, and then the top portion I'm going to cut at, I have to remember what I cut before in my sample. Yes, it was one and a half. I'm gonna cut at one and a half inches. Now, if you remember, when we do the stack, slice, and shuffle, all right? I've already done the stack. I've done the slice, meaning the cutting. And now I'm going to do the shuttle, shuffle. So on that first stack, I'm going to flip one piece of designer series paper from the top to the bottom of the stack. On the second pile, I'm going to um, do two. And then the third one, I'm going to leave alone. Now when I make my three cards, I'm just going to pull one from each stack. So I went ahead and cut, I wanna double check this. Yes, I went ahead and cut three pieces of basic white cardstock to mount these pieces on. You can do any coordinating cardstock that you like. I thought the white um, with just a small border would be a nice pop to this color, or to the colors of the card. And, because I want these pieces to fit together like a puzzle, and I might need to do some shifting. Notice I just took the first piece off each stack. 
I am using the multi-purpose glue so that I can slide and shift any of these pieces as I need to. And I am fitting these all together. In other words, pushing the pieces together as if I were completing a puzzle and all the pieces fit. If you wanted to leave some white space between, you would want to um, make your uh, cardstock layer a bit bigger. So now I'm going to do the same with the pieces that are now on top of each of the three stacks. How many of you have ever done the stack slice and shuffle? And if so, do you do it the same way each time or do you change it up? Cutting different direction, different dimensions or turning um, the pieces or the orient card orientation to a different direction. Again, using that liquid glue is going to give me any time I need to slide and shift my pieces so that I have equal borders of the white cardstock showing around the top, bottom, and each side. Okay, so there's two. And then of course, we've got three. Kathy, yes, it's fun to do it with the diagonal shape. Absolutely, I have done that. Boy, I haven't done that in a long time though. In fact, I can picture the DSP I did the diagonal stack slice and shuffle with, but honestly, it's been so long, I couldn't tell you the name of it. Oh gosh, I can, I can so clearly see those cards too. And I remember using in colors at the time. So several sets of in colors back it was. Oh, what was the name of that paper? Real flowery. Anyways, but yes, I'll have to, um, I'll have to give those the stack slice and shuffle with the diagonal lines another go one of these days. Okay, so there you go. I've got the basis of my um, stack slice and shuffle cards ready. I decided I would add a little of this pretty and pink ribbon and I'm just going to lay it across. Whoops, that was kind of loud. And in addition to the ribbon going across the layers, I'm going to be putting a bow on each. So I'm just going to make those now while I have the ribbon out. Some of you may remember that Pretty in Pink was a core color to Stampin' Up! many, many years ago. In fact, um, it was when I joined. Actually, I joined 15 years ago. I believe it was a, a core color when I started stamping 17 years ago. 
and then they retired it but brought it back as an in color. So many, many, many people are excited about that. And if you've never worked with Pretty in the Pink, Pretty in Pink in the past, I think you'll also find that it will become one of your favorite pinks. It's a really, I mean, I like all pinks just about. Um, but this is a fun, baby pink. I know people aren't, uh, young parents nowadays aren't always necessarily into the traditional baby blue and baby pink, but if you want something for that reason, um, this is the one. This is the baby pink I would use. I also think of it as kind of like the ballerina pink. <laughs> Margaret, you love pinks as much as I do? I guess I love all colors a lot. Red used to be my go-to, like when I was young and teaching in Ohio State, whatever. Um, and I still love reds, but anymore, most of my adult life, I've gravitated to the pinks. Okay, so now I have my three bows done, one for each of the cards. And I am ready to put my cards together and finish these off. Plus, we'll do a little stamping. So I've got Pretty in Pink card bases. You know, I see this has like a little splotch on there. I'm going to show you something. I don't want it to show on the front. I don't want it to show on the back. I can probably cover it up on the front, but to be sure I can cover it up, I'm going to put that on the inside because it will be covered then by the basic white insert I put in. You know, I always like to have a white or vanilla light color for the inside of my card. Makes it easier for me to read my own writing or a stamped image, uh, stamped sentiment I might include. And it makes the it easier for the recipient of your card to also read any stamped sentiments or handwritten notes. Doesn't always have to be white, could be vanilla. Some people use crumb cake, just, um, it can be a lighter shade of a cardstock. But I, I prefer white when I can. So now let's add my ribbons. To do this, here's my trick for adding ribbon. I do not like to put any kind of adhesive where the ribbon is going to lay, okay? So I add some adhesive on the back sides, and then I simply pull one end of the ribbon over and attach it there, press it down onto my adhesive. And then I reach the other side of the ribbon and pull it kind of taut. I don't want it to be flimsy in the front. Pull it kind of taut and then secure it on the back. And I'll do the same thing with these two other sets of layers that will go on my card front. If the ribbon is kind of um, heavy in its thickness or it's a little wider, I would use a little, little more adhesive on the back. Certainly don't use too little, don't go too scrimpy because if for some reason it maybe would catch on somebody's finger if they're pulling it on an envelope or something, you don't want the ends to pull away. 
right? So then when I'm ready to adhere this to my card front, I just go over those little ribbon ends on the back and then add some additional adhesive in each of the corners. And then they're ready to go on my card fronts. See how that white just pops behind all that pretty and pink? Okay, set these aside, set my bows aside, and let's do a little stamping. Now in this stamp set, there are three um, sentiments that I know I will use often. In my thoughts, right? Hello and happiest birthday wishes. I immediately went to in my thoughts because I send a lot of... Um, thinking of you type cards, encouragement, support, that sort of thing. Of course, we all need birthday cards, right? Everybody has birthday, so we always need birthday cards. But then I started thinking about hello, and, I, and I'm trying to catch up on my mail today. I am way behind on sending cards out um, for various reasons, etc. cetera. Um, so I have been working on that today, and I started thinking do I often enough send cards out just to say I love you or just to say um, hello or you're on my mind, what's up, you know, that kind of thing. In other words, just because cards. And I thought that's what I'm making today in this Facebook Live, just because cards. So hello. And even you're on my mind would be that way. But I thought, why not just a simple hello? And these are nice ones to have on hand too. And then, and my circles are from the Stylish Shapes dies. Stylish Shapes dies. Oh, Deborah's on my team. Yes, I do try to send birthday cards to um, team members. So I'm glad you got that, Deborah, and that you like that. I'm going to put some scrap paper underneath these because I might be stamping off just a bit. I'm using this medium-sized flower from the Poised Peony um, stamp set. Oh, Joan, prayers for your friend. I have a friend going through... Um, breast cancer right now. Just had a double mastectomy. Um, I think it was last Thursday. So yeah, what a great idea to send her a card every week. That is amazing. And trust me, you are making a difference, not just for her, but um, for her family and friends and other people that care about her to see, um, to witness her going through that, but also to have some support from um, a friend like you. You are a difference maker. Put it that way. You are a difference maker. Every time we send cards, think of yourself in that way. I am a difference maker. And our whole world needs some positivity. Okay, so now I'm going to color my peonies. And it's okay that this flower does not match this flower. That is perfectly all right. If you have a flower bed at home or um, go to parks or gardens or nurseries, 
you know that most people have more than one type of flower in their garden. Even if you buy a bouquet, right? Or somebody gives you a bouquet, there are multiple kinds of flowers. So I'm okay with mixing these peonies with this flower from my Lily Pond Lane DSP. I'll tell you why. I haven't really used my um, Poise Peony stamp set yet, but I'll tell you why I chose to use it today. Um, I was watching Riley a lot in the last four or five days. In fact, she was here three nights, four days, um, because it was moving weekend for Andrea and John, and they had the rest of the family helping them out. But of course, with my back, I can't be lifting and doing a lot of that manual stuff. So I volunteered to take the baby. <laughs> and of course, if I needed a break physically, um, there were plenty of people who wanted to jump in and help with that as well. But anyways, um, she loves being outside. Riley loves being outside. You may have seen a picture of her in her little pink car. That was my market Facebook Marketplace steal a while back. Um, 20 bucks, 20 bucks. And they retail for like, I don't know, $70 or something. Grandma likes to spoil, but I'm not spending money where I don't need to. So yes, but she loves riding in that little pink car. So we did lots of walks around grandma's neighborhood. Short walks because that's what grandma can do, but oh, she loves riding her pink car. And as we would go on these short, slow walks, I started noticing like every week in my neighborhood, there are different flowers blooming. Um, and lately I've been noticing a lot of irises blooming as well as peonies. And I thought, we're going with the peonies. And I'm looking for this. Okay. And once I finish these cards, I want to show you a set of sample cards I made as well. The reason I'm using Pretty in Pink here is because, not Pretty in Pink, Pretty Peacock. Pretty Peacock green. It's because this is the green on those small flowers on my DSP. And this is the light shade of that pretty and, or you wanna keep saying pretty and pink, pretty peacock, it's the light shade of the pretty peacock. The two greens in this DSP are Granny Apple Green, which I'll show you in my sample cards, and the Pretty Peacock. But really, either of these greens works well with the Pretty in Pink color or the Peach Pie color, um, which is another one of those in the... Um, in the Lily Pond Lane DSP. Just adding a, a bit of additional detail with a dark shade of Pretty Peacock.
Let me go over it. Just blend it in a little bit more with the light shade. You can't go wrong with Stampin' Blends. You know, you do solid colors, it works great. Add a little bit of the other shade and do a little blending and it works great too. If you've been following me for any length of time, you know that Stampin' Blends are my favorite coloring tool from Stampin' Up. All right, let's put this all together here. nails are a bit of a hot mess. I left them a little longer than usual when I went on vacation. And then with being sick and watching the baby, I haven't had a chance to get back in and get a new manicure. And then playing with the baby the other day, one popped off too. So but that's okay, but that's the reason I'm using my um, take your pick tool, the piercing end, because sometimes it's just easier to use that than try to pick up those tiny dimensionals or peel the backings when my fingernails are a little too long or a little too thick. So I'm putting the peony in the lower right corner of my card front. And then I'm going to yeah, I'll use this one. Then I'm going to adhere the sentiment. towards the upper left corner. Not necessarily all the way in the corner. But in that direction. I've got my here it is. I've got my bows made. And I'm just going to attach my card like that across the um, ribbon that goes across the car center of the card front and centered underneath the stamped greeting. And I suppose you could add some embellishments, um, bling it up a little bit more, but I don't want it overdue. So I'm going to leave these as is, okay? So there's my um, vertical or portrait position version of the Stack Slice and Shuffle this time. And now I want to show you Another set of cards featuring the peach pie color, but using all of the same um, Stampin' Up! products, okay? We've got the in-color ribbon. We've got um, the more prints from the uh, Lily Pond Lane DSP pack. And then, of course, the... Um, floral image and sentiment from Poised Peony stamp set. What do you think? 
Quick and easy, right? Quick and easy. Um, Laura, I'm glad you like them. I'm going to scroll back quickly here. I feel like I may have missed a question at some point. Let me... Kathy Viverka asks, what color is the foliage? Um, I stamped the image with gray granite ink. Okay. I stamped the floral image with gray granite ink, and then I colored with Pretty in Pink and Pretty Peacock Stampin' Blends. On this card, I colored with Peach Pie and Granny Apple Green Stampin' Blends. Okay. Maybe that was. Joan Gordon, I agree with you. Grandkids are the best. Talk about love and life. Uh, let's see here. Maybe that maybe that was the only question. Okay. Just want to be sure. Yep. Okay. Um, that is it for today. I hope you enjoyed today's demonstration. If you would like to have your name put into the drawing to receive one of these cards, please type in the comments now, Poised Peony, Poised Peony. This stamp set is great for making simple cards. When I say simple, I mean just um, stamps ink and paper, right? Maybe I'll do that later this week. And then, um, also easy to combine with any of our colors of cardstock and ink plus designer series paper. I absolutely love it. I absolutely love it. Okay, poise peony. All right, the next time I see you will be Thursday, May 23rd at 2 p.m. Eastern Time right here on Stampin' Peace with Mary Nabe. Until then, I wish you well and happy stamping. And please don't forget, today only, May 21st, um, free shipping on Stampin' Up! orders of $75 or more. That's good today only, May 21st until midnight Mountain Time. Um, my free craft and chat night is today at 7 p.m. Eastern Time. I will post the, the Zoom link went out by email today. It is also on my blog, stampinpeace.com, in today's post. And I will add that link to um, this Facebook page as soon as I end the live. And what else is going on? Stampin' Storage, 15% off all items through um, the 27th of the month. I believe that's Monday. And then, of course, Stampin' Up's wonderful starter kit promotion, um, which includes $207 of Stampin' Up product for just $99 plus tax, and it all ships free through the end of the month. Um, the special there is you choose $125 of product on your own, and then Stampin' Up! will give you $82 of the newest in-color products. Um, you'll get all five ink pads. You'll get a set of the five Stampin' Write markers. You'll get an assorted pack of in-color cardstock, and you'll get the in-color 6x6 DSP pack as well. So great, great deal. Join for the deal, join for the discount, join for the friendships. I don't care, but don't pass up this deal. It is too good. All of that information on those promotions is on my blog, stampinpeace.com, uh, posted today, and it also went out in today's email. Take care, have a good evening, and I hope you'll join me back here on Thursday, 2 p.m. Eastern Time.